everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Leg Robotics. Today's video, I told you last week we were going to go to a scrimmage um, Saturday, October the 26th. So this video is going to be all about showing you the highlights, what happened, the teams that showed up, and just, you know, just getting everything ready for our qualifier. So if you want to see all of those highlights, stay with me. So I told you guys last week I was going to take three teams to the October 26th scrimmage at Mesa View Middle School. Thank you so much, Mesa View Middle School, Darlene and Richard. You guys are just awesome for putting this together every year. And it just allows all the teams to just kind of get a feel of how their robot game is going. It just gives the students a chance to feel that pressure of that two and a half minutes and just kind of getting the feel of what it's going to be like at their qualifier. So it's just an amazing time to also meet new people and the teams and just to see all the cool robots that's going on. So out of respect to all the teams, I'm not going to show any scores. I'm just going to show you some parts of the robot game and, you know, just show you what happened at the scrimmage. So let's go to the tape. Hey, everybody. Good morning. It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Well, I'm driving on the way to our scrimmage at Mesa View Middle School. Going to be 20 teams there. It's going to be an awesome day. It's really good to uh, be able to have your teams try out their missions. Definitely see other teams to kind of just, you know, get a good feel for how they're, they're really doing. Um, I'm really thankful for this uh, year's small inspection area rule that they can get bonus points because now I don't have to carry so much. It's amazing. It feels like I didn't have to carry much stuff to the car. So, okay guys, we're headed to the scrimmage. I'll be catching up with you there, okay?
this is what what's this team? All right. Hey, what's your guys' names? Wow, guys, um, that was such an amazing day. Um, so many teams coming together, so many, um, just everybody with a common bond of robotics. It was just fun to meet everybody. I couldn't even imagine remembering everybody's name. So sorry, but um, definitely what I thought was cool is Oscar from Grand Terrace. Check this picture out of what he made for me. So there it is, the 3D print. Thank you again, Oscar. I'm going to keep this here forever. Such an amazing, cool 3D print. And check it out. When the lights go off, it glows. Glow in the dark. That's so awesome. It was so cool. I'm going to put that on my bookshelf. So every video, you guys are going to be able to see that in the back. It's a 3D print. He actually gave me two 3D printed Mr. Hino uh, Lego All-Star uh, bricks. One of them's glow in the dark. My family and I, we spent like almost all night that night just um, turning off the lights, seeing it glow. It was so cool. So it was just amazing again to meet all the teams and just, um, you know, ask them questions, figure out, you know, where they're going for their qualifiers, what's really neat about their robots, um, what their missions are that they just love to do. So it's just I look forward to, you know, competition days anytime we, you know, meet other, other teams and coaches because that's just what robotics is all about. It's not about, you know, I mean, obviously, you know, teams like to win, but it's just about making those connections, relationships, friendships that, you know, you're going to see the same people every year. And it's just really cool to have met all you guys Saturday. So if you guys ever get a chance to go to a scrimmage before your qualifier, it's super, super um, helpful. It just allows the teams to figure out what's going good, what's you know needs to be improved. It gives the students who are going to be you know driving the robot a chance to just feel how that competition you know two and a half minutes is going to be for those four rounds, you know the three rounds and the practice round. So it's just a <clears throat> neat environment to be in, where it's just you know all the eyes are on them and they get a chance to feel what that's really like. So I thank you everybody again for um, just a great day at the scrimmage. Um, I got a chance to meet Bob. I got a chance to meet Oscar and Kevin. And it was just really neat. I'm, a million other names I'm probably forgetting. Um, and got a chance to meet the Vision team and the Rec Stars. So awesome day. Thank you guys for, you know, this is going to be etched in my memory forever. And it's just making moments like that. Truly can't even put a value on that. So, guys, continue to have fun with your City Shaper competitions and doing robotics and just obviously having fun. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. I'm out. Hey, guys, Mr. Hino here. Um, we had our scrimmage at Mesa View Middle School. And if you guys were watching the news, they had a really bad fire about two weeks before we had this competition. If you might have saw it on the news, it was the Sandalwood Fire. So I just want you guys to be able to, you know, lift your thoughts and prayers for the people who lost their homes. And there were some actually lost lives at this fire. Um, 
Mesa View Middle School had to actually be evacuated that day from the fire. So if you can uh, just give them some thoughts and prayers and I'll even leave a link to uh, if you guys want to donate to help out the families who lost their homes here. That would be cool too because you know they you know some of them lost everything. So just before I leave you guys just a thought and thoughts and prayers for the people who lost their homes in this uh, Cala Mesa, you know, Mesa, Mesa View Middle School area. It was just a really bad situation that day, you know. As you guys have known, living in California, we get these really bad times where the winds blow and the humidity is really low. So it was just, it just hit home really hard for us here that live around here. So 